Hey fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be seeing what's coming towards you throughout the next 48 hours. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. So let's get into it. Let's see, spirit guides. What's coming towards my fire signs, my Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius throughout the next 48 hours of May? What's coming towards my fire signs throughout the next 48 hours? Let's see. Oh, okay. So first card we're starting off here is with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, some of you guys can be dealing with another fire sign. Okay, another Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius like yourself. All right, but I'm definitely seeing things moving forward for you, okay? This could be regarding your career, your love life, okay? It could be anything, but I do see that things is definitely going to be moving forward. You're, you're going to be starting to see changes coming in for you, okay? You're going to start to see, you know, things getting better for you, okay? Let's see. What else do we have? What's coming towards my fire signs throughout the next 48 hours? We have the Queen of Wands, okay? And we also have the Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, so this is fire energy. We have fire energy here. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with another fire sign. Um, But definitely, I feel like there's like... I feel like you guys have... Like I'm hearing that you guys have glowed up, okay? Like you guys... I don't know what it is about you guys. <laughs> But y'all is out here looking good, okay? And I feel like you have people, or it could be a specific person that you're dealing with. But somebody here is very attracted to you. And I feel like you guys are like, like you're, you're stunting on people. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys are out here looking really good, really attractive. Like I feel like somebody here is extremely attractive to you, attracted to you. um, And it's like, it's because that you guys have like, I don't know, like you did something new. Like, did you guys cut your hair? It's like something you did, okay? You guys could have just changed. You could have just glowed up on these people. And these people was like, damn, Aries look good. Sagittarius look good. Leo looks good. And it's like, you guys literally have eyes on you right now. Like because of your beauty, because of how you're coming off, okay? How you how you look, how your, how your energy is. And I feel like because your energy is just evolving, your energy and your beauty, your attractiveness is just getting more and more. And these people here is looking at that and they are just so in love and so admired by you, okay? It's like they like what they see, <laughs> okay? Um, and I'm getting a lot of sexual energy as well with the Knight of Wands. So somebody here could definitely be wanting to get intimate with you. They definitely want to get very passionate with you. All right, let's see what else we have. We got the Temperance and we also have the Tower. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with another Sagittarius or a Scorpio here with the Tower. Okay, yeah, so I feel like this person, somebody here wants to find peace with you. They want to balance, they want to find balance in a situation here with you or they want to they want to have a connection with you. Like somebody here is wanting to be around you. Like somebody here is wanting to just, you know, like get to know you um talk to you like somebody here just wants to be in your space somebody wants to be in your energy fire signs okay and i feel like this is something that this person is realizing and i feel like the person the reason why this person is realizing that they want to be in your company is because they're looking at you and they find you so attractive and they're, they're like oh my gosh like i would love to be her friend i would love to be her girlfriend or her boy or his boyfriend her girlfriend you know it's like somebody here just wants to be around you because they like what they see about you Okay, this is something that they're starting to realize. Like, I feel like this person had an epiphany or some type of wake-up call about you. It's like, this person literally is, like, amazed by you, fire signs. Okay, you guys are looking so good out here in these streets. Y'all could be y'all could be posting on social media pictures, videos, and it's, these people is out here like, wow, they look good. <laughs> okay. Um, we got the Eight of Pentacles, and we also have the Six of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be dealing with a an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And what I'm picking up with this energy is that your person, they want to... Yeah, it's like, I feel like this person, they want to put in the work in this relationship. They want to put in the work 
to get closer to you, to get more connected with you, all right? Um, you could have felt like this person really wasn't giving much to you in the past. You could have felt like this person was giving you player energies, fire signs. You felt like this person, they just was being very in and out. They wasn't really giving you much. You, you could have felt like this person was giving you a lot of mixed signals. But now I feel like this person is starting to realize, because they're starting to realize you, this person is going to, you know, they want to be more generous towards you. They want to show you that they care for you more. Like, I feel like this person is not going to be playing these games with you. All right. They want to actually give you attention. They want to actually put in the work in this relationship because they know you. They know what they want in this relationship and they want you. Okay. Um, show me more. What else is coming towards my fire signs? Um, we also have the eight of cups. You guys, what I see here is that I feel like this person, even though they feel like this, I feel like this person is hiding this from you, okay? Because with the eight of cups, I'm getting that this is somebody we are dealing with is very emotionally unavailable, detached. This person isn't really the type to express their feelings, okay? And I feel like um, it's really hard for this person to open up to you about how they are feeling right now, you know? Like, I feel like this person is... I feel like this person is like holding on to these feelings for so long. Like they've been holding on to these feelings for so long that they just they're on a verge now to just express and just explode with just telling you like how passionate they are about you and just how like how um, amazing you are and how good you look and how attractive they are to you. OK, um, but I feel like it's really hard for this person to open up about this to you. Um, it could be because of their ego, their pride. I don't know, but this, this person is very emotionally unavailable. They don't like to express their feelings. This person is very good at suppressing their feelings and not showing their feelings, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what else we have. We got the five of wands. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this person here. Let's see what else we have. Hold on. Yeah, we got the two of cups. Give me one more card for my fire sets. And the ten. And, yeah, and the everything is fine card. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this person, they I feel like they are very jealous over you. Okay, because with the five of wands, I'm getting that this person fire signs. They don't like it's like this person feels like you get a lot of attention, okay? Because of your attractiveness, because of your beauty, okay, because of how you come off to people, like your aura, everything about you is just so beautiful, so enhancing. This person is very insecure about it. They are insecure about you. It's like this person does not want to share you with nobody, you guys. Like they want, they, this person knows that you guys get a lot of attention, a lot of recognition because of your beauty, because of how you are, period. Like it, it's not even a, just about your beauty. It's also about your personality, you know, how you come off to people. Everything about you is so nice. You're so charming, so sweet to people. And this person does not like that. They don't like to see you being friendly. They don't like to see people be trying to, trying to be friendly with you. Okay. It's like this person does not, they feel like you have a lot of people around you and they don't like to see that because with the two of cups here, you guys, this person is in love with you. They only want to be with you. They don't want you with nobody else. They don't want nobody flirting with you, talking to you. They don't want you talking to no one. Okay. This person is wanting you all to themselves. This person is very controlling over you. They, they're very territorial over you. And it's like, Honestly, you guys, I feel like this person could have even found out that you were talking to other people. They could have even found out that other people was talking to you, flirting with you. And if they did, this person is very upset about that. But this everything is fine card. Like they're trying to, they're like, they're putting on a mask. They're putting on a facade like everything is okay. But really, this person is like blowing their mind out. Like this person is going crazy about the people talking to you, trying to flirt with you, trying to get to know you, you trying to talk to people. This person does not want you talking to nobody. They don't want nobody trying to talk to you. This person is very, very obsessed with you, fire signs. <laughs> okay, like I'm not even trying to make this up here. Okay, we got the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could be also be dealing with the with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um but yeah, it's like this person is gaining some clarity. It's like this person is realizing that they have these feelings for you, you know, that they probably never felt for anyone before. And I feel like this person does want to come forward to express these feelings. They want to talk to you. All right. They want to get to know you. Um, but it's like this person is up in their head about you. They're up in their head about 
you know, if you have other people, if you have options, like this person is so, it's like, they don't want to see you guys with nobody else. <laughs> okay. Because in their mind, they feel like you guys have all these other people who want you, who's attracted to you. And this person wants to be your one and only. Okay. So yeah, you guys, this is really it for the reading today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, um, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can scroll down in my description box down below and it'll tell you all the details. And yeah, that's it for today's reading, you guys. I'll thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.